No, I wanted to ask, uh, you did uh, something, uh, something, some other experiments with what you call laughter rooms in hospitals. That rooms that were filled with funny things so the patients could go there and laugh. Can mm -hmm. you share a little bit about that experience and uh, laughter, the importance of laughter for your health? Yes, uh, when I bought, when I wrote the book, um, Laugh Yourself to Better Health, it was because uh, some years bef uh, earlier, I had met Norman Cousins at the conference. And Norman Cousins uh, was, uh, uh, he was an editor for Saturday Review. And in, in a, a journey, in the uh, Soviet Union, he got uh, very ill. He went back to the United States and he got his death uh, sentence that it was nothing that could be done for this uh, neurological illness. So then he decided to, if he had a limited uh, life, uh, 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 time, he decided to use that time for for humor to use humor from morning to evening and then he d detected that if he could laugh for 10 minutes then his pain went away for two hours mm. so he got reinforced and then he continued to increase the the um, humor part of his life until he was completely healthy. And then he wrote this book, uh, this, The Illness. The, um, Anomaly of an Illness. No? Of an illness yes. yeah. And what happened was that suddenly uh, also science realized what humor, laughing, uh, good mood could make uh, for health. So he got, an, uh, he got a professorship at UCLA medical school where he was teaching the medical students about uh, the uh, uh, benefits of humor in health for many years, in spite he was not a medical doctor. Uh, Fry in San Francisco started to investigate what happens in your body when you are laughing, when you are smiling, and suddenly it became a whole uh, scientific area the the benefits health benefits from from humor uh, and when i came back to, when i came back to sweden then uh, i made a course called the humor and health uh, which was um, going for fi on five different swedish universities for some years and then we made some practical experiments with humor room uh, in the Motala hospital we had this humor room as you mentioned um, where people with illnesses could come and get uh, humor treatment <laughs> and we took um, for instance in one study we took um, a number of women with chronic pain who had not been helped with the me medical treatment. As you know, in, in chronic pain, there are very little to do with medical uh, systems. Uh, very little effect of medical treatment. So instead, they were uh, going to this uh, room for 11 weeks and they had home lessons to look at humor home and so. And after 11 weeks, the pain has decreased uh, uh, significant and the um, life quality has increased significant. So we had hoped that uh, it should be humor room in every hospital in Sweden. However, it didn't work out. Mm. But what happened was uh, that it's still working is that we have um, uh, uh, people who who are specially designed to work with children. Clowns. In, uh, uh, yeah, humor clowns yeah. who work with children with severe illnesses in different hospitals. So we have in Sweden about 35 humor clowns ah. who are still working with that. So 
some effects was is still going on okay with that. nice so uh, for those of you who are listening around the world uh, try to encourage your hospitals to start a, a, a humor room where patients can go and laugh because laughter is very good medicine basically 